awesome. I don't even know. There's a little corn cob pipe. It doesn't work though. There's definitely no holes going through it. It's, it's just for looks. How do I look with a, a corn cob pipe? Okay, this is not corn cob, but it's just a pipe. Uh, we're gonna get out of the mat cave here today and go check out this snowman. Actually, you know what? It is freezing out there. What's the temperature in my mat cave here? My temperature in the mat cave, I got my little is actually pretty warm in here. It's uh, not quite 40 degrees, it's 30 something degrees in the mat cave, which for me, my lights are on a sensor here and they keep going off on me. Anyways, we're gonna go take a look at the world's largest snowman now. Uh, myself, Matt, is out there in the freezing cold right now. Uh, he's traveling to the world's largest snowman right now and he's about to get there and show us the world's largest snowman. So, let's head out of the Matt Cape now and let's head to Matt out on the streets, world's largest snowman. Take it away, Matt. Uh, I, I thought you said polar bear. I didn't say polar bear, I said snowman. Are you, sh are you sure you didn't say polar bear? I didn't say polar bear, I said snowman. I, well, I'm, I'm out here by the polar bear. What are you doing by a big polar bear? Well, because it's it's big, it's it's huge, it's it's a big polar bear. Oh. What do you want me to do? I'm out here by a big polar bear. There's polar bears everywhere in the state too. They're just big white bears everywhere, especially when you're in white bear. I know there's big polar bears there, but the, the, I didn't say big polar bear. I said world's largest stucco snowman. That sounds nothing like polar bear. How could you hear big polar bear? I don't know. Maybe my my ears get frozen. It's cold out here. You want me to show you the polar bear anyway? Um, let's ask Yoda. Yoda. The force and its wisdom are all around us. Ask your will a yes or no question. Sense the force in my left hand. Press it and answer you, I will. I got all kinds of toys out here. All right, so we press his left hand and then he tells us what to do. Should we go check out, should we let Matt show us the big polar bear before we make him go show us the world's largest stucco snowman? Yes, I sense this is. Okay, so Yoda says yes, so go ahead, Matt. Show us the big, gigantic polar bear. Real quick, though, because I want to see the snowman as fast as we can. Okay, all right, good, because I'm here. It's a, it's a big polar bear, and we're, all right, it's cold. Let's look at this polar bear. Look at these cute little feet. Cute little feet. Actually, really big feet. Those feet are probably about as big as me. <laughs> this polar bear is gigantic. It's the biggest polar bear. It's one of the biggest polar bears in the world. But it's definitely the biggest polar bear holding a Chevrolet sign. <laughs> Here's some really cold, amazing cars. All right, here he is, world's largest polar bear, holding a Chevrolet sign. My hands are starting to freeze to my tripod. <laughs> I have to. I get my gloves. I get my gloves. Okay, okay, I'm getting out of here because it's freezing out. My hands are literally freezing to my tripod. I am an idiot. 
I'm gonna go get some gloves on, but if I get gloves on, I can't run my camera. But anyways, so back to you, Matt, in the nice warm Matt cave. I wanna say thank you to Chevrolet over here, Polar, Polar Chevrolet in White Bear Lake, Minnesota, for letting me film the polar bear outside. Appreciate you guys doing that. If you need a Chevrolet or a Mazda or whatever else they sell here, <laughs> come to Polar Chevrolet in White Bear Lake if you wanna see the world's largest polar bear holding a Chevy sign. I'm pretty sure it's the world's largest polar bear holding a Chevy sign. It might be the world's largest polar bear anywhere. Anyway, back to you, Matt. I'm gonna go get my hands unfrozen now. Okay, bye. <sighs> what do you think, Darth, of old Matt? Going to the wrong spot. Don't make me destroy you. That's right, Matt, don't make us destroy you. Now, if you can go ahead and skiddly rinky do yourself to, that was dumb, skiddly rinky do yourself. If you can just go ahead and move yourself to the world's largest stucco snowman, we would appreciate it here in the Matt Cave. All right, while Matt is heading to the world's largest stucco snowman, I thought I'd show you this cool, I got glow in the dark. <laughs> Yoda's talking over there still. I got glow in the dark spray paint. It works really cool with a black light. Let's see this. Become more green in that spot. At least that's the theory. Didn't shake it up enough. I'm just gonna shake, 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 shake it up, shake it up. Shake, 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 shake. I don't know, maybe. Yeah. Well, it's supposed to work that way anyway. I mean, all that green stuff up there came out of this glow spray paint. But now, maybe it's too cold. Maybe I need to do it when it's warmer. All right, well anyways, let's get it to Matt now. He's back at the world's largest stucco snowman. So take it away, Matt. The world's largest stucco snowman, go. I thought you said the lawn with the most snowmen on it. Are you sure you didn't say the lawn with the most snowmen on it? I said world's largest stucco snowman, not lawn with the most snowmen. I, this is the lawn with the most snowmen I could find. I said world's largest stucco snowman. You want the biggest snowman? Well, I don't know where the biggest snowman is, but here's these guys. They're kind of cute, right? Cute snowman. Well, hurry up and film real quick and then go to the world's largest stucco snowman. All right, all right. I'm going, I'm going. How could you hear the lawn with the most snowman out of world's largest stucco snowman? It's cold. I can't hear because it's cold. Just it's cold. All right, see you a bit. Speaking of snowmen, there's quite a bit of weird movies out there about snowmen, isn't there? See if you can list off as many weird movies as you can where the, the lead thing was a snowman. Like Frosty the Snowman is kind of cool, no big deal there. But there. There's a movie called like Jack Frost, I think. There's a movie with like um, Michael, uh, Michael Caine? No, no, Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton? Yeah, I think it was Michael Keaton and he was, I think he got turned into a snowman. I don't know if I've actually ever seen that movie. All right, I think Matt is now finally the world's largest snowman. At least he better be. So let's take it away with Matt now at the world's largest snowman. What are you gonna do, Darth, if he's not at the world's largest stucco snowman? I need to teach this guy how to say some more stuff. All right, anyway, take it away, Matt. World's largest stucco snowman. Hey! Yay! We did it! Yeah, you did it! Yay, there he is, the world's largest stucco snowman. Yeah, yeah. Camera high five. Nice. <laughs> anyway, here it is, the world's largest stucco snowman. We'll take a look at this thing now. I thought you were gonna tell him about it. I didn't do any research. I thought you were gonna do the research. I didn't do any research on it. I thought you were gonna do the research on it. You're nice and warm, you're in the mat cave. Do the research. What? Well, I don't know, what are we gonna do? Okay, um, ooh, ooh, idea. Why don't we get narrator Matt to do it? That sounds like a pretty good idea. Let's do that. All right, here's narrator Matt telling you about the world's largest stucco snowman. Take it away, narrator Matt. 
Thank you, outside cold filming mat. As you can see, this is the world's largest snowman made of stucco. It sits on the southeast corner of Highway 36 and Margaret Street in North St. Paul. The North St. Paul JCs used to build a snowman every year to help celebrate St. Paul's winter snow days. After a couple of not so snowy winters though, the community decided to build a permanent one that would last even when it wasn't cold. And it's cold! Don't forget to tell them it's cold. Oh yeah, it's cold out. Yes it is, it's cold all the time. It's negative 11 degrees out right now, wind chill negative 24, and it's this cold all the time. Well, it's not that cold out all yes, the time, Yes, it Matt. is, it's cold all the time. Enter the world's largest stucco snowman. Rain or shine, winter, spring, summer, fall. He sits right here. Built in 1972, he has become North St. Paul's unofficial mascot. The snowman sits majestically above the highway at 44 feet tall. Its smile alone stretches 16 feet across, and he weighs in at around 400 tons. That's a big snowman. have it my hands literally turning frozen because they're starting to get frostbite I think this is literally the coldest I've ever filmed for you guys it's so cold back to you Matt in the mat mad cave <sighs> all right that's cool that actually was really cool to go and check that thing out and see that uh, so thank you me for being out there in the freezing cold it was 11 degrees negative 11 degrees and it was uh, colder than that with the wind chill I looked at my fingers at one point they were like turning this weird color I've never seen them turn before. So anyways, thank you for hanging out with me in the old Matt Cave here for a little bit. Um, leave some comments below, leave some um, remarks or some, uh, what do you call it? Some suggestions of where you guys wanna go next. And um, I ask me some questions if you want. We'll do some more Matt Cave episodes soon and where I can just kinda answer some of your questions and stuff like that. So um, yeah, so we'll see you guys soon. Thanks for joining me from the Matt Cave. I'm almost here at the Matt Cave me and a fake snowman pipe stay warm out there it is freezing in minnesota but hey we got in a, our first adventure for the mat cave is one and done so um, next one's coming up soon leave some more suggestions of where you guys want to go all right we will talk to you soon okay bye
You ever seen the back of a ginormic snowman's butt before? Now you have. <laughs>